Hey guys, I am here at Gen Con 2016 After Hours with Angie of the Asmo Day Demo Team. Thank you for joining me, Angie. We're going to be looking at Colt Express, uh, the base game, and then also the new expansion, Marshall and Prisoners. So let's go ahead and dive in. So for the base game, you are um, you and your people that you're playing with are a group of bandits, and you're trying to rob this train. Whoever has the most loot at the end wins the game. Classic banditry. Exactly, exactly. So um, each person, each bandit, has them a stack of action cards. You should have some, uh, some action cards in front of you. All right, right here. All right. So pick out, shuffle your deck. All right. And pick out six cards off that deck, and that goes into your hand. Random six. Three, Random four, six. five, six. The rest will go right back there. Okay. So during uh, the Cult Express, set this here. These will only be hidden, of course. I'm going to just lay them out okay. for and ease. And then I'll of... go through each of the actions that are on those cards. Okay, so in Cult Express, you can perform any of these actions um, during a round. So, for instance, this uh, action right here allows you to shoot another bandit. So if you're on the bottom of the train, you could shoot one of the bandits in either uh, a train adjacent to you. If they're in the same car as you, you can't shoot at them. If you're at top, it's line of sight. Right. So it's uh, any of these guys, but you probably don't shoot this guy. Right. What what that does in the game is that you can um, whoever you shoot at. Say for instance, you shoot. Uh, you decide to shoot at Doc. You okay. give Doc uh, your, new, your bullet card, he puts it into his hand, and then it becomes sort of like a dead hand when he pulls six new cards in the next round. So he might be stuck with a couple of, of dead cards here, and then he won't be able to play out any of his actions no, as exactly. well as he wants. So okay. that's, that's a good uh, reason why you want to shoot your fellow bandits. And also because you might be mean like that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, this is classic. Exactly. This allows you to steal. So if you're on the bottom of the train, there are, in each train, uh, depending on what it says on the bottom of the train, you assign a money bag or a jewel. The jewel is 500. The money bags are different denominations. Okay, so they random can, denominations. They're random denominations. So you could pull, like, uh, for this one, it could be like $300, $450. It just depends. Um, and then this one allows you to move. So. You can move on the bottom, uh, one car either towards the back of the train or the front of the train. Or if you're on the top, you can move as far as three uh, trains. So you can go one, two, three. Wow, so you one, can really one, book it. Exactly. I can see it in my mind. Exactly. Um, for, uh, for this card right here, your bandit is allowed to go to the top. Or if you're already on the top, you go to the bottom. This card is the classic punch card. So what happens if you are in the same car as another bandit? If you play this punch card, you can punch your band the fellow bandit in the same car with you. When that happens, they get moved to another train because your punch is just so darn powerful. Absolutely, they gotta get away from me. Exactly. Really. And if they have anything in their possession, you they have to you get to decide money bag or um, jewel, and they have to drop it. And so in a future turn, another bandit could steal that. So Excellent. things are starting to get nasty on the train. So we're stealing loot, we're shooting each other occasionally, exactly. and then we're punching each other fairly often, I feel like. Exactly, and let me see if there's anything else that we missed. Okay, so that's the base actions on the card. Um, in the base game, I'm sorry, these are the basic actions. So, there are five rounds when, you come, when it comes to playing Colt Express. So, there are different turns depending on what's on the, on the card. So, for instance, this is going to be three turns plus you get to play an extra action. What ends up happening is this means that we're going to contribute from your hand of six cards, each of the bandits, to a common pile. So, for instance, so we would play a card face up, so you get, put those right, so like six cards in your hand. Let me, let me take my hand, and so we're going to go around the table basically, and the number of players, whoever's playing, is going to take their hand, they're going to look at the card they want, they're going to play it, the first card they play, they're going to play face down. Correct. Uh, or face, face up. up. Face up. So let's say I play this one face up. Okay. And then the person, if someone was playing Doc, they would place it face up. Uh, the next one in our lineup here is Ghost. Ghost is actually has a special ability. He can play his card face down. So he'll play it face down. So okay, he's sneaky. He's sneaky like that, but that's just his special ability. Your special ability for your character, May, she's an expansion character, is she, when she moves, you know how I told you you can move up or down? Yeah. She can move 
Whoa, she's athletic, so like nice. that. She, she can bounce back and forth. Oh, I'd like that. Um, if, she can, if she's on the top, she can jump to this car, train car, and, uh, or this train car. Killer, they got that yeah. mobility. Yes, exactly. Um, and then Doc, he pulls seven cars instead of six. So that, so we did that round, on um, that turn, I'm sorry. The next one, we play everything face down. So you put Okay, so we're, th and this is like we're going through a tunnel, basically. Correct, so nobody correct. knows what we're going to do. All right, nope, so nope, let's say uh, I'll do this, and you won't get to know what that is. Okay. So that's face down. Face down. And then face down. Face down. All right. Okay. So that's the second round. First round it goes face up, back up. And then oh, I'm gonna face up punch. Oh wow. Okay. So I know what you're gonna do. And now you can react to that. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, so you, have, you have to imagine how this is gonna resolve. And yeah, it's like a uh, what do you call it? Hard program. Yes. Game. Um, I'm gonna do this one. Well, I mean, you know what? I might punch back. And then ah. so. And then the last card would be played. Uh, oh, here's Dog's card. Okay, face up. So. Boom. Boom. So, you flip the cards over. First player does that. You flip it over, and you just move your meeple, your bandit, according to what it says on the card. So, so now we have a full you, string. Okay, yeah. this makes perfect sense. So you, you get to move. So I might say like, oh, I want to move here because maybe I want to be close to you to to punch you or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Doc. He gets to steal, obviously. Nothing no cash, there. yeah. Um, oh, Ghost is going to steal. So if Ghost was like here, he would be like, well, I'm going to steal one of these. Take a money bag, okay. Uh, say now your character may steal. There's nothing steal. there. So that's how that goes. Absolutely. So that okay. goes four rounds um, on the regular car uh, train, and then there's the last card is called the stop card. So that's five rounds. Okay, so we go five rounds, and we're shooting and fighting and, and stealing money. And then at the end of the fifth round, whoever has the most points wins most the game. Loot, yep. Most loot the points game. wins the game. Yeah. Okay, so one more thing about the base game is that you can also play a card as part of your action cards, which is the marshal. Whenever you have a mar the marshal starts out in the front of the train in the locomotive. If you had played that as part of your action cards, you get to move the marshal in any direction. Obviously, since he's at the front, he's going to go towards the back. When he enter into a car with another bandit, that bandit immediately jumps to the top of the train car and you give him a neutral bullet card. The neutral uh, bullet okay. cards are these and um, basically it works very similar to how the uh, the, the bullets for the other bandits work. So, so that they, just, goes, they just make your deck weaker. weaker Le less exactly, fun, right? Less exactly. good. Okay. Um, so so the marshal would roam around and kind of like boot people up and they got to try to get away from the marshal and they would they would get shot for it. Exactly, right? exactly. So now we're moving on to the expansion marshal and prisoners. So it appears that the marshal is now taking a new role in this expansion. Yes, that marshal is actually a, his own character. He now has a name. His name is Samuel Ford. Oh, nice. And so you know how in the base game I said that the um, bandits who ever had the most money wins the game? Yeah. In the expansion, well, Samuel Ford has some goals that he has to complete. He has to complete at least four of his five goals in order to win the game. If he completes those goals, uh, the marshal wins, you guys lose. But if the but if the marshal win, uh, loses or can't complete any of his, I mean, he can't complete any of his goals, then it goes back to whoever has the most money wins. Perfect. Okay. So you just kind of introduced a an antagonist into the bandit equation. Exactly. Right? It makes him part of the game. Um, and so what happens too is that he also has, I guess you would call it a uh, six shooter. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, he has. He could. Uh, he could shoot uh, you as well now. Um, he, you could also punch the marshal now before you weren't able to. You know, you couldn't do that with the marshal in the base game. Um, and he has a set of action cards just like, just like the rest of the bandits. He also has some new action cards. Um, Marshall action. Marshall action cards. Special. This one allows him to capture one of the bandits, and that's actually one of his goals is to capture a bandit. Okay. So he could do that. He could play that card. Uh, this is another card that he gets to play. So this card is he can move, and it has this little plus. Well, he could do moving plus. Wow, so the marshal's shooting. roaming around. I mean, he's like, he's really getting it done on yes, this train. Yes, he wants to keep the passengers safe and keep the money where they, it belongs. And that's out of the hands of the bandits. Now, I did see also there's this uh, bright idea or like this light bulb card. Exactly. Tell me about that. Okay, so you know how when you assign your actions, you can play the uh, bright ideas. And what it is, a brilliant idea card. Um, you play this card, you know, when you add cards to the common deck, it will copy 
the action of the bandit's uh, action card before you. Wow. So, say you saw Doc go up and this was played, Maze like, that's a brilliant idea. I'm going to go up as well. That's so weird. So even if you don't draw the card that you really want to play, if somebody before you plays it, then you can just copy it. And maybe you can you can get that punch that you needed or something because exactly. somebody else played it. Exactly, exactly. And also on your turn, you get the choice of if you don't want to add, um, add a card to the comic pile, you can actually, um, in your um, deck of action cards, you can pick like three new ones. Oh, right. So, so yeah. that's, that's kind of the last thing is that if you're ever just completely out of, like, you have nothing but those bullets, right? You can draw three new cards yes, to try to refresh your hand. Uh, yes, exactly. Keep the action going. Keep the action going. All right, I think that's about it. Did we miss anything? Is there anything else in the expansion? Oh, there is. There is the prisoner card. So Ooh, there Marshals are prisoners, are prisoners in the back here. Here they are. Um, so they're put in the back of the prisoner car. So. It, each um, there, what you know also as sidekicks. So um, if you go to the back and you free a prisoner, the prisoner or and if they're in your sidekick, like yeah, May goes to the back and frees this one young woman. You get two hundred dollars bonus at the end of the game, and you also get special. Uh, uh, you get to pick up an extra loot. So nice. you know before you could only pick up one. Well, you have now a new sidekick, so you can pick up two. So they're grabbing some yeah, loot for you. Exactly, and you can see that on the card it says that there, times two. So. Beautiful. Okay, so so the expansion adding a bit more flavor, adding a little bit more, uh, replacing that marshal with a player-driven marshal, mm -hmm. throwing out some rewards on the back of the train there that you can go after some different areas to try. To explore. Uh, seems really cool. Yeah, this is yeah. great. Thank you so much, Andy. You're very welcome. This is Colt Express, and particularly here, Marshall and Prisoners, the expansion. Check that out, guys. We got more coming from Gen Con 2016. Stay tuned.